let's talk about my top five favorite inks. Not only are these my favorite inks, but they're probably also considered my best inks. They're certainly the ones that I use the most often, and I have very specific applications for them. So we obsess about everything. Today, we're going to obsess about inks. So for a long time, I've considered blue to be the superior color ink, if you will, because it wasn't so much that it drew attention to itself, like red or pink or green. It was a one of the two binary choice is either black or blue but blue gave you some differentiation from the black print of your usual print offs or forms so blue was a way to make sure what you wrote stood out but didn't necessarily scream attention to itself now also since it is a common ink color there are so many different choices of blue out there. You could obsess. I could do a video alone on blue inks and probably will at some point. But in narrowing it down, I'd have to say that the best blue ink is Hiroshizuku Konpeki. And the reason is that this ink is practically magic. I mean, I did a whole video on this ink. If you have a pen that's not flowing very well, put Konpeki in there and it solves all the problems. It's also a very delightful shade. It's a bit lighter, but it's really nice and really beautiful on the page. Just has the perfect bit of shading and a really nice, let's say brighter blue. It's absolutely delightful. I will say though, that for me, Jay Urban's Eclat de Sapphire is probably this close to Konpeki because I use that ink quite a bit too. But we're going to give this one to Konpeki. Well, now that we mentioned blue ink, could we really skip over black? I don't think so. So black ink is certainly the most common color ink in the world. It's everywhere. It can be kind of boring but it does not need to be now personally i still don't think i found the perfect color of black but lately i've really embraced it and it's sort of taken over where i'm sort of obsessing about black now in the past couple months i've re-embraced some colors that i've used in the past and i've revisited some ones that i've recently tested so sailor black gets a little washed out namiki black is really good but this one i have to give to jayer bonds pearl noir so Jay Urban is one of my favorite brands of inks. I'm just so impressed with the fact that they've been around for literally 350 years. They were founded in 1670. Jay Urban was a sailor who went to India and brought back all these recipes for sealing wax and for inks. And his product line of inks has been around ever since. It was Iron Gall first, and now it's so many different shades. And it's very high quality and a fantastic bargain. Many of these inks are $12, $13, and then they have a higher end line as well. But it's such an impressive brand. It's been around, it's been in different media sources. You see it turn up in films, like in a good year. Napoleon used it, if you want to write with ink that Napoleon wrote with. But hey, I'm sure many famous people have used it. So just fantastic stuff, incredibly beautiful on the page and the pearl noir is particularly good it's that high contrast black that just looks fantastic against a lighter page so i am absolutely delighted with pearl noir and it is my black ink of choice but there are more out there to explore now i'd like to talk about my favorite red ink. Now, I know some of you out there could probably record this segment for me, but maybe there's a surprise in here, okay? So red ink is one of those really tough things because it really runs the gamut between these really sort of dark brownish reds all the way up to the bright red, the sort of red that you associate with corrections from a teacher on your page or your essay. 
back in high school, something along those lines. So you really have to choose between that wide spectrum and ask yourself what it is that you want out of your reds. For me personally, I wanted to have some high contrast on a brighter piece of paper. I want it to be very legible and not to signal that you're writing in corrective ink. Now for that, you definitely are in the darker shades and there are many to choose from. Dragon's Blood, Writer's Blood, from Diamine, and my favorite, Diamine Oxblood. This ink is just so magnificent. It's just the perfect balance of light and dark. It looks amazing on the page. It has a bit of sort of a vintage look to it as if it's from a 16th century manuscript or something. I love to write with it with a stub nib and get a nice really wide downstroke which really carries the ink well and it just makes it pop and it's really interesting to me. So Oxblood is certainly one of my favorites. I love the visceral reds so it's really hard for me to go against my tradition and say anything else. I am over the moon about Oxblood. Let's now talk about shimmer inks. Now shimmer inks are very interesting because once you put them in your pen, all that shimmer can settle to the bottom. So you do have to be careful. You have to sort of mix your pen up before you use it to get a nice even distribution of the shimmer. A couple times with these, I forgot to do that. And then at the end, it all clogs up with this just shimmery, glittery mess trying to get through the nib. That can be an issue. So for that reason, personally, I never put shimmer inks into a pen that I can't completely disassemble and clean thoroughly. I particularly like to use them in Twisbees because Twisbees are so easy to pop out the feed, pop out the nib, and as long as you're careful with the fins, it's really easy to just disassemble it, clean it, and put it all back together. So normally you will find me using a shimmer ink in a Twisbee probably a 1.1 stub nib, and that makes things okay. So as I go through the different types of shimmer inks, I do have many favorites. There's this incredible blue from Colorverse. Colorverse, I think, is an underappreciated ink brand. They have incredible marketing. They have really charming snail-shaped bottles. They have really beautiful graphics on the box. And the most important thing is that their colors are amazing, varied, interesting and just never let you down so amongst that they have one that's charmingly named cat and it's this beautiful blue with some shimmer so i do like that one quite a bit i also love the ferris wheel press inks probably for the same reason if you're getting into a magical mood where you want to sit down with your inks and maybe write some poems or compose a leisure and you want it to have a lot of romance and presence in the moment, it's hard not to go with that beautiful little genie bottle of Ferris wheel press ink with the glittery gold label and that nut shaped cap. It's just so alluring and interesting. However, personally, my favorite of all time and I hate to keep sticking with the same brands, but here we are again. It's the Jay Urban 1670 Carreuve de Chypre. I'm probably mispronouncing that horribly, but you know what I'm talking about. It's that beautiful brown ink with the gold dust like some pixie came and sprinkled magic in your ink. It looks fantastic on the page. It's rich and luxurious. It looks amazing if you sign your name. I definitely recommend a wider nib to carry as much of those particles onto the paper as possible. But once it dries, you're going to get this shimmering, beautiful, star-studded brown line that will just dazzle and delight your friends. And it's fantastic for correspondence because people are going to be very curious about where you got that ink. So my vote for Shimmer is Gerbon Carub de Chypre in the 1670 line. Okay, we're talking about Shimmer. I think we have to speak about Sheen. So sheening inks are so much fun. It's so great when you can turn it and take a look 
from a different direction and you get a different character. Now, the effects of that vary between the different inks and even by taste. Maybe you don't want it to be too flamboyant. I mean, you certainly wouldn't want that in a business application. Although I don't know if you would use Sheen ink in a business application. Although I have, I have signed legal documents with Sheening ink when we can talk about which one. So I'm thinking of like varying jewels um, for whom the bell tolls is a visual representation of the book of the power of of people connecting during war and this and the violence and all that in an ink. So it has this incredible red sheen and these greenish blue overtones. It's really a fantastic ink. That's a that's a good one. Plus it's Hemingway, so it ties in. And then I'm thinking of some of the other sheens like Birmingham's Tesla coil, which is really impressive and really interesting with a blue base and a red sheen. Then you get it right in the light and it looks really nice. However, my favorite sheen ink, the one that outsheens them all, by my opinion, is by Krishna out of India and it's Moonview 2. I love this ink. It is magical. It is so fun to write with. It sheens so magnificently. In fact, it shouldn't be called sheen. It should be just called iridescence or two-tone. It's magnificent. It is such a consistent red once it dries, contrasting with this magical metallic blue. It is so interesting and so fun. It's fantastic for journaling. I find myself when I do journal with it, I like to go on for pages so that you can turn the page and look at it in different light and just see it shining and shimmering. It's also fantastic for letters. If you write a letter to someone in Moonview, they're definitely going to notice. It's going to look like something really interesting, like something that was written by a fairy or by some magic ink. It is very impressive, very beautiful, very distinctive. And it's probably my favorite sheen ink and the most magnificent sheen that I've ever seen. So I want to throw out some honorable mentions. I really love Diamine Ancient Copper. It is such a great sort of orangey brown that just matches so many pens perfectly, like the Kaveco Brass Sport that I adore. That ink matches perfectly. I think there's something about the metallic sound of brass and copper sort of suit each other. I also currently have it, my Pilot Custom 823. It is magnificent in there, and it's just good in so many brownish pens. And I mean, even on its own, put it in any pen. It's a fantastic ink that I cannot recommend enough. Another brilliant ink that just seems wholly original is Arashizuku's Yama Budo. Now, personally, I don't really like pinkish ink, so I don't use it as much, but every time I look at it, it just leaps off the page. I mean, it is a stunningly beautiful ink. It's fantastic for putting in something like the Twisby Vac 700R and Iris. That just matches perfectly. It's an absolutely brilliant ink. If you are looking for a very nice green color, then I like the Diplomat Moss Green. It has has nice contrast. It's both bright and dark in the shady parts. It's just a very nice shade of green that doesn't get lost on the page and shows up very nice. My runner up there is the Pinodia Godenizold. That is another fantastic ink with a lot of contrast and with very interesting color. It's actually very similar to the moss. It, but both inks are fantastic, but I definitely give the nod to Diplomat. So what did you think of my list? Were there inks that surprised you? Are there ones that you wish I had mentioned? If so, let me know in the comments. Also, thank you for watching this video. I sincerely appreciate it. And thank you to all the members of this channel. You guys keep me going. Thank you very much. If you'd like to become a member of this channel, then please look here. And I would love to see you back on the other side of the curtain with us. We have a lot of fun back there. So I release new videos every Thursday at noon. So we will see each other again very, very soon further up the road. Take care.